Hey my loved ones, welcome back to my channel. So I got another cooking 101 recipe and this is my cabbage roll casserole. So first we got a small head of cabbage. I chopped it up and put it in this plastic container. We got some onion, one small onion, a half a bell pepper, and one jalapeno chopped. We have the Del Monte diced tomatoes, some Hunt's um, spaghetti sauce and garlic and herb, minced garlic, one point one and a half pound of ground beef and i thawed this out and i turned it upside down because i didn't want the blood to be going throughout the ground beef and the seasoning that we are using is seasoned salt ground pepper onion powder granulated onion i mean garlic powder granulated onion and ground cumin so if you want to see this recipe and how delicious and cheesy it turns out then please stay tuned Okay, so first we're going to start off with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to place this in the skillet, spread it around so we could um, make our onion, bell pepper, and jalapeno translucent. Okay, so now we're going to add the onion, and these are frozen diced onions because I hate chopping onions. We're going to add our jalapeno and our half of bell pepper, and we're just going to stir this around until it's translucent. Okay, so now we're going to take that one and a half pound of ground beef and we're going to shred it up into the bell pepper and onion and make sure that you spread it throughout the pan so it won't be cooking on one side and not the other. Okay, so now we are just stirring it around and chopping up the ground beef because we don't want no big old clumps. First, we're going to add our seasoning salt, our granulated onion. We're going to add some garlic powder, some ground cumin, and some ground black pepper. And we're just going to mix that into the mix, some minced garlic, and we're just going to stir that up until it is all incorporated with each other. Okay, so now we are going to drain some of the grease off of the uh, ground beef, not all of it, but majority of it. And we're just gonna drain that in a strainer, strainer, put it right back into the pan. And then we're going to add our one of our ingredients, which is I'm just cleaning off my stove because I can't dirty cleaning up. I mean, cooking in the dirty kitchen, even, my do even though my stove is a mess. That's why I need to get a black stove. So we're going to add some diced tomatoes and mix that throughout the mixture. Okay guys, so now we're going to add the small head of cabbage. I'm only putting half of the cabbage in right now uh, and stir it within and mix it within the meat and the tomato mixture. And then I'm going to add the second half because I don't want to overcrowd the, the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of it and just mix it all together. Add a half a cup of water. I'm going to stir it up a little. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some seasoning, a little bit of seasoned salt, garlic powder, and onion. And we're also gonna add the spaghetti sauce. And this is half of the can of the tomato sauce. Okay, so now I'm gonna place a lid on it and let it simmer just for a little bit and then we're gonna hit it with some cheese. 
Okay, so this is the cheese that I'm using. I still have some of this left, so I'm gonna place that on top of the um, cabbage roll casserole. And this is gonna make it so delicious, you guys. You cannot forget about the cheese. And if you wanna add rice, you can, but I would suggest you cook it a little al dente before you put it inside of the mixture. And I'm going to go ahead and fill the top up with cheese so it could melt and be so cheesy and delicious when it is done. So yeah, that is what we are doing right now. Patting it down. And then I'm going to place it in the oven on 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so this is what it looked like coming out the oven. I'm going to hit it with some black pepper. And yes, I love black pepper. And I'm also going to hit it with some crushed red pepper flakes. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. And it is going to be so delicious. You guys have to try this recipe. Okay, so this is, this is what it's looking like. I'm about to go ahead and plate it for you guys because I know you guys be complaining when a sister don't plate her food and taste it. But this is how it looks. Look at that casserole, you guys. Yes, delicious, okay? You got the creamy, creamy cheese, the red pepper flakes, the black pepper. You got the cabbage and the ground beef with tomatoes. And yes, this recipe is the bomb. So you guys have to try it. So let me know if you tried this recipe. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys real, real soon. Bye.